Now, Tim brought up something that has really been on my heart heavily, a key tool in the info war that we have not used. Now, in the last decade, many times Paul Watson and in the last four or five years, Kurt working with us, Kurt Nemo and others have written blurbs at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com when films like Endgame, Blueprint for Global Enslavement or the Obama Deception or the name Alex Jones gets into the top ten of Google Trends or Yahoo Trends. And you'll see how it's a news item normally. They kind of feedback loop it and feed into it when it's Lindsay Lohan uh, or when it's uh, something like uh, the scandal with Mel Gibson. The media hypes that, oh, look, you know, the number one trend is Facebook or Chubacabra or Mel Gibson or Kelly Osborne and the BP oil spill is way down the line. Unemployment extension 2010 is number 15 on Yahoo Trends. That should be number one. Lead and mercury in our children's juice drinks and chips and food and soft drinks. That's all admitted. Your children are drinking this in mass. That should be the top trend. Now, what if we actually gamed their corrupt system? What if every listener of this show today and tomorrow and on Sunday and Monday typed the Obama deception into Yahoo and into Google search engines? What if you did it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again? That would put the Obama deception... links to the video for people to watch it for free, that would put links to that at the top of Google and at the top of Yahoo, and tens of millions more would see it on top of the 25 to 30 million that have conservatively seen it for free online. I mean, you can go to Yahoo and, and see it on their video, watch 5 million times, go to YouTube, see it, watch 6 million here, 2 million there, a million there, 500,000 here, the BitTorrent's listed, it's been seen millions of times per major system. What if you all, right now, went to a search engine box? Let's show people live on TV. Uh, radio listeners can just go to Google, go to Yahoo, go to the biggest search engines, and type in the Obama deception. The Obama deception. Type in the Obama deception, and this will probably work. It'll probably push it into the top trends, maybe even number one. And then next week, I can put out a viral video, say, on genetic engineering causing DNA damage. We can create a simple term for people to search. And then millions of new people, because of that information warfare tool, will see it. Now... Going back three years ago, uh, Google even admitted this, that on any given day, the number one video, uh, video on Google video would be one of my films. Or it'd be Loose Change or another Patriot film, like America, Freedom to Fascism by Aaron Russo. Most of the time, our videos were number one. And so because they were number one, it would exponentially grow, to some cases, millions of views a day. Then Google made the hit counter secret. For the public, if you had an account, you could still see it. We go, my gosh, 25 million views on Endgame, but the public couldn't see it. And they just started putting up what was popular that they made up, not what was number one in the top slot. They found out that we basically had dominated that. We had dominated the new media. And we've done this. We've won on the level playing field, so they cheat. So before they start cheating this system... We need to game their system right now. So everyone, everyone, in fact, I'll do it right now uh, on my studio computer and I'm going back to your calls. But the caller, uh, the last caller, Tim in Michigan, brought this up. So I'm going to go to Google here. Google.com. And I'm going to type the Obama deception, the Obama deception in and then I'm going to click on a link and the first link that comes up is 
347 views on the Change the Channel version of it. Now I'm going to back out of this channel. I'm going to click on the second link. This is a link with 830,000 views. Another YouTube channel. And, and there's literally hundreds of channels that have it. I'm going to click on a Google Video link. I'm going to let that load. So it's important to click on the links to drive them up, but it's also important to search the term the Obama deception. Now, why is that so important to search the Obama deception? I made the film starting in November of 2009, 2008, excuse me, when Obama was elected. I had it basically done by the time he was inaugurated, and I laid out everything he would do, how Bush works for the same people, how the banks would take over society, how the bailout was a robbery, and what the globalists are doing, and how the Bilderberg Group selected Obama. People need to see this to know the economic collapse is orchestrated, and the film is evergreen because people see something made over a year and a half ago, it freaks them out. When they're watching it, and I'm making all these predictions, and it's all happened. And I'm laying out the real political paradigm of the globalist. So I'm asking all of you right now, go to Google and then go to Yahoo separately on their search systems and type the Obama deception in. Then close your browser or retype it in and do it over and over again. If all of you will do it at least 10, 15 times a piece, that'll probably take you three or four minutes to do. If you'll give three or four minutes, I'll guarantee you it'll be the number one or at least in the top two or three links we can go above the Mel Gibson distraction, above the Lindsay Lohan distraction. I mean, in many of these lists we were looking at during the break, the BP oil spill isn't even in the top ten. That's how these distractions work. You know, I culture jammed last week. I knew full well that that was going to get conservatively. I said that'll get a half a million views the next week just on one version, the video we upload, where I talk about LeBron James being a, a distraction and how people worshipped him. And how as the society implodes and as the foreign banks are taking over, uh, that people are distracted by this and the media pushes it as a distraction, telling you as a social creature that this is what is most important using social engineering programming. And the video conservatively with the different versions I spent a few minutes looking at has had close to 800,000 views total just on the top 15 or so sites I looked at on different video uh, systems that have posted it, that have ripped it and copied it. 800,000 views conservatively in a week. We posted it last, last Thursday evening. Went viral Friday. I mean, I shot a five and a half minute video. Took Aaron a few hours to edit it. He uploaded it. Boom. 800,000 people seeing real issues. And it really wasn't about LeBron James. Once they watched the video, it was the foreign banks are doing this to you. This is a globalist takeover. Here they are saying they're getting rid of the dollar as the world reserve currency. It had a major effect. So I'm begging you. And I've meant to do this in the past and had the idea many times for years, just never did it. We're going to do this today. The Obama deception. And then you can email me and write me and next week you can tell me what term you think we should put up that's most important. The Obama deception. Simple. The Obama deception. T-H-E-O-B-A-M-A-D-E-C-E-P-T-I-O-N. The Obama deception. And you just go to YouTube. You type it in. That'll help drive it to the top. You go to Google. You type it in. You go to Yahoo. You type it in. You type it in to those search engines and you do it again tomorrow and you do it again the next day because those are trends and it will go to the top. Let's show the new world order the power of the resistance. Let's show them what we can do. I'll guarantee you, I mean, is it worth it for you to go spend five minutes over and over again typing the Obama deception into different search engines? to drive it up to number one so millions of people can see it? Can we collectively work against the globalist collective monster to, to defend our individual liberty and our future? Can we flex our muscles? Will we do this? The Obama deception. The Obama deception. And it's the same thing. Get a DVD. Buy a DVD copy. That supports us. It makes this show possible. It's in the highest quality. It has the expanded extras. Make copies of it. Give it to people. I've seen university students, in the case in Phoenix and other places, give out more than 30,000 copies.
They got less than 50 students together. They all made copies, got out over 30,000. That was all over the news when that happened. It happened at other universities. We got a fight in cyberspace and on the street. All right, I'm going to come back, I promise. And I'm going to take calls uh, towards the end of the hour. I'm going to get into a bunch of news on the BP situation, the Iran situation. But ladies and gentlemen, the Obama deception, the Obama deception, all these people will see that as the top trend. That will push it to be the top of Google and Yahoo. That will push it in front of millions. Let's not reach millions a month. Let's reach millions a day.